Oh my gosh, what a waste of time. What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and Nintendo just did an Indie Direct that, in my opinion, was their worst Indie Direct ever. Maybe their worst Direct ever. And I want to talk about that because I feel like Nintendo's Indies are very, very important to their success. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a giant thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm sure people in the comment section are about to be incredibly offended. Now, let me just say right up front, part of the reason I feel like indies are so important to Nintendo and specifically the Switch is because that's what won me over initially. When I first got my Nintendo Switch, I did buy it day one. I was kind of on the board. I, I, I kind of was mixed because while I did love Zelda, it didn't feel like there was this big library. There wasn't a reason to pick my system up. Whereas now, if you look at it, pretty much everything I have installed on my Nintendo Switch is weird games you probably haven't heard of. Specifically, I love RPGs and I love playing roguelikes on my freaking Switch. I play them all day long. Well, this Direct, let's just randomly scroll through some of this. They showed off all sorts of different games. One Crab's Treasure is sort of like going to be a Dark Souls with cute crabs going around and doing stuff. All right, that's kind of interesting. OTK was one of the ones they showed off. This is like an interactive band story with like playable music videos. Gumbrella. So... Only two of the games that they showed today seemed really, truly fun. Now, people are saying that I hated this just because it's not PlayStation 5 games. In fact, let me show you this. This guy, this is a real tweet somebody sent me, and it blows my freaking mind. I bet you'd think that these games were good if they were announced on the PlayStation 5. Miles, I'm not sure who you are, bud, but put down the crack pipe. These games are mid as hell. Like, it's not even a crack against these. It's just the fact that Nintendo just gave these particular projects a gigantic spotlight on the world stage, and these games look so incredibly lackluster. Now, let me go back to this here. Gunbrella seems fun. It's a guy with a gun and an umbrella. Okay, side-scrolling game. But this also brings me up to what I feel like is strange about this, is that Nintendo right now has tons and tons and tons of indie projects they could have chosen from. By doing an indie direct, you're essentially saying these are the best of the best. These are the things that deserve your attention, they deserve your time, and let's face it, they deserve your money. But a lot of this stuff, they didn't show off Silk Song. Obviously, freaking Silk Song, Hollow Knight's probably never getting shown off. Uh, okay, I'm fine with that. I'm not disappointed by that. It's the fact that you guys have Shredder's Revenge theoretically coming very, very soon, but they didn't show that off. Instead, they showed off like Wild Frost. I think Wild Frost looks good. This game, no offense, one man developer. This looks so incredibly low budget. I mean, I guess technically this is zero budget. It's a robot that throws his head around. Ooblets is coming to Nintendo Switch. Ooblets has existed forever. It's cutesy Pokemon. Like, my thing is that as somebody mows the lawn right outside, my thing about this is that Nintendo has a huge catalog of stuff already that's currently in development. There's things we already know exist. One of the things I wanted to see most, Sea of Stars. If you have not heard about this game, it looks completely freaking bonkers. It's uh, It almost reminds me of Chrono Trigger by an indie development team. Every freaking clip, every freaking scene, every time they show off even a bit of pixel art, this looks utterly fantastic and we know for a fact it's coming to nintendo switch why can't we see more of this let me just full screen this for a second and show you a couple of seconds this seems incredibly high quality incredibly polished like this is what indies should be it should be a project that seems more filled with passion love and dedication than these big triple a projects should be and instead, Nintendo just shows off the tiniest, most random freaking games. Like, a lot of the stuff that they showed off today, they didn't even tweet out because it's not even worth their time. Let me scroll up here. This is all the, the indie stuff. A lot of the stuff their official Twitter account didn't even talk about. Okay, Batora Lost Haven, Elect Head, Soundfall is coming out today. Like, the, the, my thing about this is that... I'm not saying that these games shouldn't be on the console. I'm not saying that these games should be canceled. I'm just saying that 
I don't think that this was worth an indie direct. I think even a lot of very hardcore fans of the Nintendo Switch are agreeing the fact that this was not worth doing a big presentation for. These could have been a tweet. These could have been an email. These could have been an ad on the actual marketplace of the Nintendo Switch. The Switch just passed, what, hundreds of millions of consoles sold. It's one of the most popular things of all time. I feel like these presentations should be about showing what's different and cool and new and you want to play on the Switch specifically. Like, I even actually saw this. This is an interesting tweet here. Uh, VG Monster was talking about the fact that he was saying this was the worst Indie Direct ever done. I have to unfortunately agree with that. Juice Man Vaughn says, you know, I didn't expect much. It was fine. Dude, the indie showcases used to be amazing for Switch. It's just not the, like this was not necessary. They still have an obligation to show off indies, though. It's just that it didn't match up to our tastes. Like, this is my deal is that I feel like the Nintendo Switch continues to be something that impresses me. My issue is that these games are not worth being talked about in such a giant spotlight. Nintendo Directs are fun. Nintendo Directs are just a set of commercials, but a lot of times they sort of show you like, hey, here's something you may not have heard of. Here's something that may catch your eye. Here's something that you should be hyped for the release date that we're talking about today. <sighs> PlayStation is in the same sort of spot, but I feel like at least they pick and choose stuff very carefully. Xbox does things good as well. I've actually said this in the past, but I feel like Microsoft is very, very careful about when and where they show stuff. Like by the time they do a big reveal for their game or an indie game, they really kind of say, here's why you should be excited about Death Store or here's why you should be excited about this or that. They really kind of take their time to walk out and say, here is the next thing that is on your radar. This entire indie direct it's just making me have a bit of an identity crisis because they could have done better. They could have done, like, there are definitely better games currently in development. They handpicked a bunch of random malarkey. Like, even now, Wild Frost looks good, totally accurate battle simulator, okay, Gumbrella's cool, but, like, Silt, this stuff just feels so generic. Did this really deserve to have, like at one point, this stream had 60,000 concurrent viewers. Like, is this really worth 60,000 concurrent viewers to see a game that lo looks like it could have been a browser game when I was growing up? I don't know. I just wanted to talk about this. I just wanted to vent. I got to go back to reviewing some big games that are coming out this week and next week. I love you guys very much. Hopefully we see Shredder's Revenge at some point. I'm channeling all my Shredder's Revenge hype. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a giant thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. And that guy is definitely mowing right outside my house, I apologize. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.